everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we are going to be into another war. So this is a third war. We are 2-0 in war, one on the attacking, one on the defending. This is going to be the third war, and if we actually check the upcoming wars, we can see that this war time is 8.30 p.m. Eastern to 9 p.m. Eastern, and it's actually for Fort Monarch's Bluffs. So we are going to be playing against the Marauders as the attackers, and we are going to be taking a quick look at the build I'm going. So Fire Staff is what I'm going with the Rapier. Rapier, I have, uh, you know, I'm going to be using the same as usual setup. I will give you guys a quick look into that. This is what I currently am running with 19 spec in the 20. So we also have Fire Staff. So this is the spec that I run for solo usually. I'm going to be refunding this and going to actually go in here and right now decide what I'm going to be running for this war. So I haven't looked at too much detail here for the war, what I usually go. I do like Pillar of Fire, so I do like having that maxed out. I do obviously like Meteor Shower as that is one of the best abilities for war. And I do like Fireball as well. Well, so we are going to use every single one of those. If we actually take a look, we have runes of Helios as well. So casting a fire spell places a two meter rune on the ground, increasing your spell damage by 30% while standing in the rune. The rune lasts for uh, seven seconds. So this is a 30 second cooldown. So if done properly, I can use an ability and then use meteor of shower in that rune and have massive damage increase to uh, really everybody in the area, obviously getting damaged by that. So we have a great uh, really amount of things that we could use from there. I do like, while above 50% mana, you gain 10% power. I'm not going to probably be using that this time around, though. Uh, if you haven't taken damage the last 3 seconds, deal 10% more damage. That should be an easy one for me as a fire staff. I don't think I'll take too much damage in the background. Uh, you know, I do like to go on hot and occasionally overextend, but, you know, realistically, when using the fire staff, that'll be a good one for me to have. We also have heavy attacks, restore 5% of your mana. Not really going to be worried about mana. I'm going to have mana potions on me. And heavy attacks reduce fire staff cooldowns by 10% on hit. That's not a terrible one, honestly, because it's going to be very easy to hit people um, in the crowd, obviously. But we are probably going to go with the critical strike damage is increased by 20%. And heavy attacks no longer consume mana is not a bad one at all. Um... Your abilities get an extra 15% uh, chance to critical strike. That's obviously going to be needed as well. So I wish I could do more. Obviously, there's a lot on the right side as well. So while holding a fire staff and below 50% max health, damage increased by 20%. I could easily make myself go below 50% and use that damage increase. But, you know, right now I am going to go with this pretty simple build. Um... You know, I can reorder your abilities. I don't know if you guys know this, but you can actually reorder what ability goes on what key. We're going to just stick with that. I think this is what I'm used to. Actually, I do usually have Fireball there. And then uh, I think I have... I'm trying to think of what I usually do. This isn't too bad. I think I can get used to this. I'm not sure what I usually do, but I think I usually... Pretty close to it, so we'll, we'll keep it there for now. But this is what I'm going to be running. Obviously, like I said, Rapier, Fire Staff. I did it in the last war on defense, and we won very, very heavily. They didn't even capture the third point. For those of you who don't know how war works, I'll pull this little graphic up for you. So the war tutorial talks about controlling points. There are three control points. Uh, attackers must take control of all three. A win condition. So once all three control points are taken, attackers can try to knock down gates and take the control point in the fort. There is respawning, so as the war goes on, there will be longer and longer respawn waves. When soldiers are killed, they will respawn in the next respawn wave. They also have battle tokens. So a way to actually use your battle tokens is going to these stores over here. And you can see right here, we actually have the armory. And uh, you can buy different things here. I always like to get a uh, haste elixir. Probably not worth buying, but a lot of fun. So let's buy one of those. This is the closed beta. So let's just have fun and throw this puppy in there for the corruption because we won't be needing the corruption tincture. So let's take a look here. We could also go an Inferno Trap. We could go a bunch of different things here. A Powder Keg, which is very interesting. So you can interact to ignite its 10-second fuse. Most effective against gates. So if you're trying to attack, it's a great weapon to use. Um, but we're actually going to just grab two Hasty Elixirs for the heck of it. And uh, just see how that plays. Maybe I'll try to do a you know crazy flank with the rapier and see what happens but uh that'll be all guys so we'll cut back and uh, give you guys a look into it in nine minutes i'll probably jump into a discord with one of the guys or i'll either um you know talk in the game voice chat because i do want to have some comms for you guys obviously give you the real aspect of war as only 50 people can jump into a war and sometimes it's hard to get in them yourself so uh right now it does seem like they usually just pick the highest levels uh, i am able to grind because of what i do so i do have for level 40 right now which is a fairly solid level and uh, we'll see what happens. So thanks again, guys, for tuning in. I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Make sure to quickly like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. They're usually on the left side here running up this hill if you want to grab a free couple hits. If you go over the side here, right over the edge, there should be a ton of them running across. All right. 
Well, I'm a close up anyway, so I'm not gonna be able to. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. B, they're on B, they got it for free, oh, I think. No. Oh, might be able to get them off. We're doing fairly well right now. C, you said? Yeah. yeah. Looks like a lot of them on C. Yeah, we might, we might lose it. We're coming. But yeah, they've got quite a bit on there. Got them off there pretty well. Gotta stay in these hills. We should probably rotate again. I think we got C. They just got chunked there. Holy cow. I guess we're pushing up to them. That's what it looks like. Probably not an amazing idea. No, definitely not. I got a freaking cannon on A. Oh, 
they might get C here. They definitely could. Yeah, I think they got C. I think A is good. There's no one there. I don't know. We've been saying they, they like A was closer. They could, but we don't have much on A, and they have like a lot of turrets. I really think they got it this time, unfortunately. Oh, really? I mean, we could fight back. We'll see. Just uh, be really, really crazy if we did. Oh, I see. Yeah, they definitely got a lot. Oof, that meteor strike I'm doing right now is melting, I feel like. Wait, we have so many people that showed up. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. There goes a about half now. My st oh my gosh. I have that stupid glitch. What glitch? It's a glitch where you can't run anymore. It's the worst. Well, good thing I have haste potions. In about 40 seconds I'll be able to move again. Some XP right there. Oh yeah, fifteen thousand four hundred. <laughs> do you see stats on this? Yeah, at the end you do. Fifteen seconds, you will. Okay. It's kind of tough. Eight kills. Thanks everyone for tuning in, checking out this war gameplay. It was a lot of fun. Obviously, the fire staff does it very, very well in the war. Rapier, obviously, another fun item or weapon to use in that war as well. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video.